In this problem, we have a 2.5 kilogram cart. It's moving with an initial speed of four meters per second, and it's headed into multiple inelastic collisions. So in the first collision, it tacks on a one kilogram mass that was initially stationary. And then those two combined masses run into another one kilogram mass. In part A, we're asked for the speed after the first and second collisions. So each of these are momentum conservation problems. But if you recall, inelastic collisions involve an energy loss. And in part B, we're asked for that energy loss in each collision. So let's do the first collision in part A. For momentum to be conserved, I have my initial momentum M1, V1. It has to be equal to M1 plus M2 because they stick together times V2. So plugging in the numbers here, M1 is 2.5 kilograms, V1 was 4 meters per second. And after the collision, I'm going to have 3.5 total kilograms. That's M1 plus M2 times V2, and we can quickly solve for V2 here. And this comes out to about 2.86 meters per second. Next, we're coming into our second collision with a total mass of 3.5 kilograms. That's the original moving mass stuck to the first one kilogram mass. And I'll go ahead and write it this way, that it's M1 plus M2 times V2 is equal to, in the final state, all three of them stuck together. So M1 plus M2 plus M3 times that final speed V3. And M1 plus M2 was 3.5 kilograms. V2 was 2.86 meters per second. And the sum of all three masses is going to be 4.5 kilograms. And V3 is our unknown here, and we can solve for that quickly. And we get 2.22 meters per second. Now to investigate the energy losses for part B, we just look at our initial kinetic energy. I'll call that K1. What was going on there? I had a mass of 2.5 kilograms moving at 4 meters per second. I run the numbers on this, and I get 20 joules. Then in the intermediate state, I'll call that K2. I had one half and I had a mass of three and a half kilograms moving at 2.86 meters per second. And this comes out to 14.3 joules. And then in the final state, I'll call that K3. I had one half, four and a half kilograms moving at 2.22 meters per second. Got to square that. And when I run the numbers on this, I get 11.1 .1 joules. So the question actually asks for the energy lost in each collision. So for the first one, that looks like 5.7 joules lost. And in the second one, that looks like 3.2 joules lost. And we're done. If you find the physics content on Zach's Lab helpful, Click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.